and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Light and Ice. Brand new deck that we're going to be playing. Hey, what's up, Mulligan? Thanks for the big raid. Welcome, everybody, from Mulligan Stream. So, yeah, we're, we're about to start a new deck today. All right, so we got Light with Lux, Ice with Ash. So that's what we have, Light and Ice. Uh, the card that works really well with both of them is Harsh Winds, being six mana, burst, speed. Um, you know, it gets two level up for your Ash, and it levels up the Lux by itself. Um, so kind of combining those together. And then, of course, Demacia has a lot of challengers as well. So we're kind of fitting Demacia challengers with Fleet Feather Tracker, Laurent Protégé, um, and, you know, Ryan Fang Wolf being a challenger. Challenger stuff's really good with Frostbite. Like, those two work well together. Um, so, yeah, we're combining those together. Of course, Remembrance in here, because it triggers Lux, uh, can also get you a challenger um, with the five mana. Random five cost follower that you get. Um, <laughs> Multitude's here. Thank you so much, Mulligan. And then a couple Unyielding Spirits, because, you know, this card's amazing. I feel like Unyielding Spirit on Ash would be pretty awesome, uh, being able to attack, um, you know, with Ash and not even worry about it dying at all because of Unyielding Spirit. There's so many good, um, so many good Freljord and Demacia cards. It's kind of hard to, you know, uh, figure out all of them to play. You know, we talked about, like, maybe having, like, Mage Seeker Persuader in here, Um you know, like Omenhawk's just amazing, but maybe instead of Omenhawk, maybe we could have like some Mage Seeker Persuader. Avaros and Sentry could get us a little bit more card draw because that's something the deck kind of struggles with. But there's just so many good options. Just basically when you kind of go just down the list, like these are like all playable cards. Babbling Bjerg, Vanguard Redeemer, you know, Grit, like it's just all pretty decent cards. And so uh, finding like the exact ones to go with is kind of tough so you know we're gonna try this out but maybe you know like as we play maybe we'll kind of um you know see some cards that maybe aren't really pulling their weight and maybe think of something that could maybe replace it that's something to be considering while we play so we're gonna go play five games over in a ranked with our new deck light and ice okay here we go And so last deck of the day, and then I get to go to the hottest part of the day, and I'm going to go mow the lawn. So the lawn definitely needs it. All right, so we could have turn three Remembrance, which is good. This isn't, you know, like, we're not a Mage Seeker deck, so we're not, like, relying, like, we don't have to have turn three Remembrance. So we could just still go, like, Omen Hawk and everything like that. So, so then maybe I should probably just mulligan the Remembrance and just have Omen Hawk Ash. Elixir of Iron to protect stuff. Mm. Lead with Tracker. Nah, just lead with Omen Hawk. Yeah, I get 5 6 Lux. And gonna let that happen. Yes, we could have saved it with Elixir of Iron, but we're saving a 2-1. I'd much rather save these cards than save the 2-1. Alright, and, and I don't think cha like Challenger's probably not that that valuable against our opponent, just kind of in general. And so I'll play the the 3-4 that really attacks for four instead of the challenger nice I like this other elixir of iron that's really nice get even more protection hmm Stay back. 
All these luxes. A delicious challenge. I kind of like this. No, we have the Rhyme Fang Wolf. Hmm. No. No, we'll just, just have the Omen Hawk sit in front. And honestly, maybe I should just be taking four. I should just be taking four. Yep. Probably should just take four. No, unyielding spirit. Needed you last turn to save my ash. We got Lux now. Nice, Colby. Crushing with the Sejuani Gangplank Plunder deck. I like it. Man, Harsh Winds is great. That's our card. Harsh Winds. Spirit still really good. No matter what else you're doing. Is to never give up. So never give up. Alright. Got the first one. <laughs> yeah, I could I could see unyielding spirit getting nerfed. I think that okay. I don't think there's, that there's anything that needs to be nerfed necessarily right now. Like, I think that the metagame is very good and very even across the board. But if I had to choose three cards that I could see getting nerfed, it would be Unyielding Spirit, um, one, Heimerdinger, two, and not, not necessarily in any order, but just the three of them. Unyielding Spirit, Heimerdinger, and then, you know, pick between... Pilfer Goods and Black Market Merchant. Probably Pilfer Goods. I could see something happening with those those cards, but um, that's kind of like the watch list. All right, I think this matchup I want to play Tracker first. All right, because they had like Jagged Butcher, I want to be able to attack through Jagged Butcher. Yeah, Heimer Heimerdinger does get way too much free value. It's, it's an insane card, and. Yeah, I could, could definitely see something happening with that card. You think Yoink should show you what they steal? Okay, so it could still be the same thing, but you get to see what they draw also. Like, it reveals it. I could see that happening. Oh, 
Um, but no, Kar Karma art, like Karma going down to six mana, I think that was good. I don't think Karma needs any kind of further um, change at all. And Who does not know the name, uh, Sejuani, may, I mean, I guess maybe Sejuani, but Sejuani is amazing. However, Sejuani is also kind of really propping up Freljord, like without Sejuani, Freljord would take a huge hit as a regen. Um, and, and at the end of the, it, it is just kind of really good on stats alone, for the most part. Now, let's just challenge here. Because, like, if they save Lucian, like, they're saving this mana, like, maybe they're trying to save Lucian, you know, like a Radiant Strike or something like that. And if that's the case, I would rather them kill the Tracker than kill Protégé with, like, a Radiant Strike or something along that effect. If it's just like the Ranger's Resolve, then that's not as great for me, but it's okay. I like having this 2-4 protege. Yeah, it's true. Not knowing what's missing from your deck and then and also how to play around like stuff from your deck and their deck. It is a lot, I agree, it is a lot. So yeah, I could see, I could see that being a change. Faster than my arrow? I think not. This is mercy. Buff Frelio cards, then nerf Sejuani. One thing that like Frelio kind of struggles with is is card advantage. Like if you have like Avros and Sentry that can draw a card, and Babbling Bjerg that can draw a card. But that is definitely something that uh deck struggles with. And And therefore, I wonder if um, if that could be like something that they could maybe add into Freljord. You know, they don't have like a, any kind of like draw to effect like a lot of the other regions do. You figured it out, Cabo? What you're gonna use for your donation deck? Gonna brittle steal that. So they just had one thing die for Lucian, right? Yep, one out of four. So, of course, we want to play Lux first before Harsh Winds, ideally. This is a really good Harsh Winds turn. Uh, 
Harsh Winds would level up. If we go Harsh Winds, we go Ice Veil Archer. Winter, take you. It's just a really good Harsh Winds turn. I mean, it just means that we're probably not leveling up Lux, but that's how it is. My gun does the talking. Okay. Okay. So Kabo got that donation deck for a deck called Pledge to Orok. Okay. So it looks like they're willing to let Senna die to level up Lucian. Is what that's looking like. This will not take long. Mm, a delicious challenge. And I'm okay with that. Because that's one less thing to block next turn. Yeah, we're going for Ash level up. Lethal this next turn. Oh, harsh winds. So harsh. And windy. It looks like they just kind of had an awkward hand with all those Lucians. No regrets, no mercy. Oh, right. That thing's leveled up now. That is definitely worse for me. Um, yeah, that's definitely worse for me. Close my eyes, make it fair. I'll lead us to victory. Lead the target. GG's. There it is. No, make it rain. Anything like that. I was going to pump up the Ash right away to get Ash out of make it rain range. Oh, so you're three decks. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna, for Thorwell, for yours, I'm choosing between three different Katarina decks. Katarina Shen, Katarina Lux, and Katarina Misfortune. Katarina Lux is kind of wild, isn't it? So you said the Kat Katalux, Katashen, and do the best. Had a misfortune needs tweaks. Did you see my my Katarina misfortune deck, Thorwolf, that we played not that long ago? I think I think Saturday or Sunday. No, I guess it, I think it was Saturday. I played Misfortune Katarina. Call it Fortune Aggro. Yeah, I'm 90% 90, 90 sure that was Saturday also. That sounds right. It was Saturday. Um, <clears throat> going like this, the next turn I can go Ice Veil Archer single combat with like the four mana. Or of course, you know, we could just do Ash. They had one, yeah, had one Draven. 
It was three, three misfortune, two Katarina, one Draven. One Draven over the third Katarina. Katarina's not a card that's amazing in multiples. Yeah, I think Draven's a good champion. Good, good three mana champion. They got elixir of iron. It looks like. All right. It's an elixir of iron. They won't have a later. Not bad. All the world on one arrow. Yeah, the fortune aggro. I'm pretty sure we went four and one with the fortune aggro, and like, and it felt it felt real good, and like maybe I shouldn't have lost the one that I did. Oh, yeah, you try to level up Draven every time. Yeah, I don't need to necessarily level up Draven every time. Not something you need to do. Get to can block and kill Ash. No one goes I don't want the three one to trade with the one one. I can't. I can't protect Ash with War Chefs. Alright, so yeah, Thorwolf, you have, just send me... Okay, so either Katashen or Catalux. Yeah, so send me those two. And I'll choose from those. I could have I could have stopped and reordered that and then had Lux have two extra mana after we level up, you know, like 
could have reordered that and then we could have leveled up Lux and then have single combat happen so Lux has two, di two mana on it, but I don't really expect that to matter too much, to be honest. Stay back. Light and ice. It's a pretty sweet combination. I'm liking this one. Yeah, three and zero sounds like a good deck. Light and ice. Oh, deep could be a problem. We'll see. Um, as far as a Swain deck, I think that. I think I'd recommend, uh, I don't know, Protégé is not like that great in this matchup. Maybe I just keep turn three, maybe just go turn three Remembrance. I'm kind of look for the champions. Hmm. I'll keep the Omen Hawk in case, like depending on what we draw so we can Change course if need be. No, looking like turn three remembrance is the play. Um, what's so yeah? So sorry. The question was, what Swain deck would I recommend right now? And probably Swain Sejuani would be the best Swain deck. I want the one with Scout. All right, I'll take Tough. Yeah. Aristocrat, so hapless. We'll go triple hawk. Triple hawk sounds good. We'll do that over Ash. These next two things that we draw are going to be big. Big ol' Lux. Okay. Thank you, Thorwolf. I will check out both of those. Faster than my arrow? I think not. And then Raspin. Thank you, Raspin. Yeah, I changed the channel name. Um, no Alright, let's see. Let's go this, 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 this. Change the channel name because I just didn't want. I wanted a, a channel name that um, that didn't have any game in it. You know, like my old channel name had MTG in it. I just didn't want a channel name that. You know, I didn't want to put like Runeterra in it either. I just wanted. One of just a kind of a generic channel name that we could could use for any games at all or anything. Okay, all right, uh, we'll do Thorwolf. Uh, so all right, so this is gonna happen now. What do we do about this Thresh? I want to single combat the th one. Uh, one of these right now with the thrash. See the thing about the thing about casting single combat is that. 
I can't cast single combat right now. Next turn, cast Lux. And then turn after that, cast Unyielding Spirit. Hmm. What? They're just challenging that thing? Really? I don't care if that dies. Really? What's going on here? Okay. Hey, boss. Uh... Hmm. Like, like maybe I should just fight the Abyssal Eye, but then, then this would be five things dying for the Thresh. So the Thresh would only be one thing away from leveling up. Uh. Okay, well, snooze you lose, I guess. There you drew their card. And that's perfectly fine. I'm planning on unyielding spiriting that thing anyway. Uh, let's see. But I guess I can't do that right now. Only one, we attack, that's two, this is three, four. Mm. A chill in the air. Gonna kill Ash. Pushing my limit. Lux is just too important. Especially with these other cards in hand. Lux Lux is just the most important card. I feel like it is at least. Save Ash and let them draw a card, or not let them draw a card, let Ash die. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, we're saving Ash. <laughs> Gotta save Ash. Ash is too good. 
Good, I like seeing those removal spells go. And so we'll attack with leveled up Ash here. Not like they won't be able to block anything. Cause that's four. GG or not GG? That is the question. GG. Now begins a new era of peace. All right, four and O. Oh. Can we get a five O? Light and ice. Five O dream. Five win dream is still alive. Yeah, this game is just best of one. Uh, but it actually it works it works well as best of one because you get to know kind of what your opponent's doing beforehand. You get to know what regions they're playing, um, which is like colors and magic, and also which champions they have. And so you can kind of, you see you know if they're like an aggro deck or a control deck, so you can make a smart mulligan decision. And so you really don't need the the best of three. All right, same matchup. Same matchup. Let's get rid of the six mana cards for now. And last time we returned three Remembrance, this time we're being uh, much more aggressive. Ooh, double Jaw Hunters and Dreg Dredger is gone. Good, I don't like seeing Jaw Hunters. Because, yeah, you basically you get to see their, their deck and their champions before. And can mulligan accordingly. So, yeah, they want, they want their thing to die. But, oh well, I'm going to let it. Wait, what was that? That was a Vengeance and Atrocity. What was the other card? A Vile Feast. Okay. Kind of looked like that. What did, uh, what the thorny toe get rid of? I didn't even see. I was taking a drink of water. I didn't look. Definitely a good curve for them. We have a, a bunch of this little low ball stuff. We need to draw our top end. You know, like our champions. And such. Should I 
the mulligan is Elixir of Iron. So they're about to... About to be deep. They've had a great toss hand. Deep already on turn six is pretty awesome. Yeah, Deep's kind of like a, a mid-range control deck. Um, as far as, like, categorizing it. It's never really an aggro deck, but it's... So maybe maybe that makes it more of just a control deck, to be honest, because it's not really... I mean, I guess it could be the aggro deck, having one drops. Mid-range are, are decks that um, can... Uh, I guess I need to save that. I guess we can use this. Mid-ranger decks that can can kind of change their game plan depending on what the opponent is doing. You know, if it's facing an aggressive deck, it can be the control deck in the matchup, or if it's facing the control deck, it can be the aggressive deck. So we can level up. Oh, that's that's not a good card. That was not a good card to draw. Down, down. Wow. Really? Really? I don't understand some of those treasures, especially that treasure. I don't understand why five mana make three eight eight fearsomes. Like, why Why does that even need to be a guard? That one in particular. Like, the other one, like, the deal, do five damage to everything, like, okay, and, like, the draw five cards, okay. But that's the one that just seems completely egregious to me. Three eight eight fearsomes for five mana. It just seems completely egregious. But yeah, no, we got, uh, they had, you know, they had their amazing deep hand there. Um, you know, that, that's as good as like the deep duck, the deep deck does, you know, going deep on, uh, turn six. They had so much toss and yeah, they had a great hand, you know, and then they had, uh, turn seven and, you know, had Nautilus plus all that other stuff. Uh, you know, GG's. Uh, so yeah, that's. That's what that's what had to that's what our opponents had to have to keep us from a 5-0. They had to high roll uh really high there. 
I could have mulliganed the Elixir of Iron. That was the one thing that I wish that I did that I did not do. Um, so that's kind of good to know, though, how that game played out, that with that deep matchup to Mulligan and the Elixir of Iron, that was a good learning thing there. Um, the jet the Jettison drew cards because they were treasures. Um, I guess I have to go to all regions. So because the treasures say... Um, if you're tossed, draw me instead. This this one just seems ridiculous. Even like maybe just make this so these vicious plate worms don't have deep. Like why why do they have to be eight eights? This one's are this card's ridiculous. But yeah. Yeah, deep deep's not usually that strong. Um, you know, like we beat deep the, the game before, but yeah, whenever whenever it high rolls like that, uh, you know, GG. Yeah, and and throw fearsome on there too. Um, anyway, that was still a fun deck to play, light and ice, and definitely felt pretty strong. Like like I mentioned at the beginning of the video, there's a lot of other good cards that we aren't playing. Like there's just there's a ton of good cards in uh the demacia freljord regions that would fit well in this kind of deck um but it's just you can't you can't play everything <laughs> you know like that's how it is um so you know like if you have other things like if you have pet cards that you particularly want to play there are uh definitely good ones that you could fit in here all right so there we go so that's light and ice um those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button over there and uh, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And if you try the deck out yourself, uh, you know, leave, let me know how it goes in the comment section. Always love seeing the comments. So, you know, please leave more of those. But that's all I got here. So that's it for Light and Ice. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.